what are all the cadastral maps, what are all the contents and why do we need this type of cadastral map accurate and updated cadastral information so that we will be able to use it and plan it these cadastral land parcels for a better use. Now, how these informations are done in a flowchart in the land information. So, GIS database which we have seen in the last lecture is how to convert the existing maps, existing information they can be created spatially, geospatially referenced and it can be there in the form of a geo database. Now, in that is the thing which you have to do that the existing data is nothing but the existing maps needs to be scanned and it may be in a CAD format convert it into a geo reference that means add on to the lat land and create a geospatial database. Mutation information that is the information related to the ROR that is added and it is indexed and created as an attribute. This is the normal GIS which we have already seen that is spatial data and attribute data. Now, when you come back to that for a correction purpose or some accuracy improvement we try to use the new field survey methods may be total stations with the GPS 1 and G these instruments they have got a system directly it can be connected to the GIS database. Now, what we have got is we have got a GIS database on cadastral maps and related information for our activities which are geo referenced. Now, the process whatever I was telling further is hard copy maps and sheets existing maps then you index it and code it index mean means you join it together so that you will get a overall picture about the entire area. Then you scan the maps and you grid correction on a cadastral information. There are two ways one thing is geo referencing another thing is the grid base added on to the system and then being used. Then digitization of this village map sheets like what we do in the previous ages. Now, edge matching and mosaicing of villages, village level maps. What is happening is each village they have got a different shape, different land parcels. So, that that has to be joined together, mosaic together not only in one side it has to be mosaic in all the four directions. There may be multiple possible joining is also possible that is how these villages have been demarcated. Then clean up the topology, clean up the topology means then if there are some errors digitization errors and recording errors those recording errors needs to be done. Con quality check is nothing but you rectify who, who will do this job is the person who is there in the department land record departments or the man who is there who knows more about this type of cadastral surveys he is the person who is going to do the checkup and the errors. Then translation of entire thing into the GIS activities. Then geo referencing of individual mosaicing and things like that. So, that means once you do it for an individual map, individual villages then you can add on or you can just mosaic it in such a way the entire tassel can be mosaic with village maps. Okay. So, that it will be useful as you move up in the pyramid and towards district as well as towards the state level. The quality assurance need to be done what I am going to deliverables to the person. So, these are all the things which we may have to do it up. Uh, edge matching it is a very difficult job in doing that is previously you can use with road maps or you can auto matching to avoid multiple mismatches or boundary line is adjusted automatically adjustment by searching conflicted cadastral lines. See uh, there are so many issues and uh, unless we see them uh, it will be difficult because n number of problems have cropped up whether it could be a problem a line problem 
or because of the long time usages there could be some sort of a folding or some sort of a dot which has come up. So, that is also comes under the collecting. Then related cadastral lines need to be adjusted. So, these are all the different type of edge matching techniques which we have to apply in the village maps. The attribute data sets which we are talking about is the record of rights, who is owning it and how much he owns it and when did he buy and all those details. Then the crop details and which we said about the Satbara type of forms. So, about crops grown, area and cultivator name and yield details. This is where the agriculture processes comes into picture as well as the food security aspects comes into picture. Suppose, if this village grows some 10 acres of maize, so that means you can depend on this area will give 10 acres, this much of tons of maize will be available for the national contribution. Now, then pedigree table or sheet that gives about who are all there in the family history or how it has been transferred from the previous generations. So, it is father, grandfather, grand grandfather, how this land parcel has been given it to the next generation, that type of degree is also added as a attributed data. So, having seen what all the information which is required and what is available, there should be always a problem in this type of mapping. Constraints there could be multiple redundancy that is you have the land record on your name and somebody will say will come and tell you that it is mine also. So, this type of things happens in a, in a big way mainly when it is when the land parcels have been converted from the rural records to the urban records. So, the redundancy or the multiple ownership records that need to be understood. There could be some data, mandatory data that is like who is owning it and how much he has paid. So, that type of fields may not be filled up or not available or it is not done. So, this type of data inconsistency, so what we have to do is we have to identify each data, what is missing it and if it is collected separately for that, then we can fill up the gaps and it will be complete. Now, geometry problem of the parcels, they do not match with each other adjoining parcels. So, that is a major headache in this type of activity. The basic question is when you try to do is what is it at a particular place? You can give the name of the place, address or a geodetic references. Now, as you might have seen the addresses, the name of the place is being changed over the years by some name or other. So, it was called in some x and after 10 years it is called as y. So, depending upon the time of information, these searches may fail, but whereas geodetic differences they would not fail till the end. Then previously the cadastral maps they were used only for the agriculture related activity. Now, the modern cadastral system that can be used for a multi task cadastral activities. Now, the beginning with start a computer system using the GIS. How do we do that is it not from the top to bottom approach, it is always from the bottom to top approach. So, you have the wards in a particular administrative unit then you have the village, then you have the tassel, then you have district, state and further up. And all these systems they should be self sustained, they should be able to give more information about that area and it pass it on to the upper systems. Whereas, while loading the systems the physical information is there at the bottom grassroot level which can be updated at a regular time. So, so this does not congest the coordinating units like a tassel systems 
in a mess. Now, this is what we may have to do it in a cadastral map from the traditional cadastral map when you want to make it as a computer based cadastral system. The issues because of the uh, aging of those records and we may have to do bear with some of the issues. Right. The next is cadastral system is the